Good morning to all my friends. Uh, today in this video we are going to see what is the difference between an MVC Razor application and a Blazor application. Now these are two terms which you might have heard a lot these days and in today's video I will try to explain the difference between these two type of applications. Razor as we all know is a very well-known Microsoft uh, framework for building MVC applications and Blazor is something relatively new. So let us begin by creating uh, an application. I will be using Visual Studio 2019 for this video. Uh, and I'm using the Community Edition which is free to download and use. So when we start this application, we will click on Create a New Project. And from here, we will select ASP.NET Core Web Application with C Sharp as the language and click Next. Here we will name the application. We can name it Web Application MVC and just add the solution word at the end just to indicate that this is an MVC solution. Uh, we then cl click on Create and we get these templates which includes the framework. I'll be using the latest .NET Core 3.1 and here we will select a web application model view controller. Leave everything as the default and click create. This will then start building our MVC application as it is clear from the name this is a model view controller application in which Razor is used as the view engine and the controllers are used for redirecting our requests to these different uh, pages. So if, if we look here in the application, we can see under controllers, we have a home controller. If we open this controller, we will see we have a number of actions. Uh, which are redirecting to different views and if we open the views folder we can see these different views. Uh, we will just take a look at the main view which is basically just a sort of a welcome sign and the privacy view. Now here if we run this application as we can see here it would run on IAS Express So it's currently building the application. After that, it would be running it. So we are just waiting for this application to build, which it has successfully been built and is in the process of running the application. So how, how an MVC application works is basically that a request is sent to the controller which then redirects it to the respective action and from the action we have the associated view which then shows up in the browser. So the, the process is currently going on and uh, here we can see that it is loading the page uh, and in a few seconds we sh should see the page showing up. So there we go, we can see the first page and if we click on the privacy link, you can see here it's redirected to the privacy action and we see the privacy page. If we view source here, we can see that everything is returned in pure HTML. So what, what actually happens behind the scenes here is that the whole content is resolved on the server and then pushed down to the client. So basically the whole, uh, process of uh, putting together the content is done on the server. So we will now stop this uh, particular application 
and come back and now let us take a look at uh, Blazor application, which is slightly different. So I'm going to start another instance of Visual Studio. And here we will create a Blazor application. Now the difference between a Blazor application and a Razor application is that unlike a Razor application where everything is done on the server and then the HTML is pushed down to the client, in a Blazor application here, uh, you can see I've selected it and I'll just click next and I'll just uh, put in the solution here and create it. So while it's being created, I'll quickly explain the difference between the two. I'll select the WebAssembly app and in this and click create. So the basic difference between the two is that in a Blazor app, uh, the processing is done in web assemblies on the client side. So basically everything is done on the client side except uh, the data which is pulled in from the server. So we can compare a Blazor app to an Angular or React or one of the JavaScript client side frameworks in which everything is done on the client side but only the data request is made from the server side. Now what is the advantage of this? The main advantage is, unlike Angular or React, you don't have to work with JavaScript or learn some new framework like TypeScript. Everything is done in C-sharp. So if we open the pages here, let's take a look at the main page. Here you can see the extension is Razor, as opposed to the extension in the MVC application, which was CSHTML. So we can see here that's uh, a, a different uh, extension which shows that these are components as opposed to views. So here you can see, let's open the other page, uh, fetch data, and here you can see the code is written in the section marked with code and everything is done on the client side and it's done using C sharp. And if we run this application and so in this case, we don't need to, you know, get into TypeScript or JavaScript. We can build our client-side application using the current knowledge of C# -sharp that we know. Now, this is of course a WebAssembly application. There is another server-side application as well. So I'm just going to open this up and wait for the screen to show up. So here you can see it's loading the component. Of course, it, it uses a similar routing system like the MVC application. And there we go. If we go to fetch data, we can see the data is coming, which is very similar to what is being used here at HTTP client is being injected. And we are making a call to this particular location, returning some JSON data and displaying it on the screen. So coming back to our page. If we go to the page and we view the page source, here you can see everything is being done in this web assembly. So that is the basic difference that the whole processing is done on the client as opposed to the server and only a call is made to the server to extract the data. So very similar to Angular and React. So I hope this gives you a brief understanding of what is the basic difference between an Angular application um, and a Blazor and a React. So Blazor and React are very similar uh, and Angular applications are very similar and all using components done on the client side, whereas uh, MVC Razor application is done entirely on the server side and just the output is then pushed to the client.